man. Look at this whale. I, don't worry. I got it. I got it. Hey, buddy. Buddy, you. Who? Yeah, Who? you. Do you like the Avengers? Ooh. Do you? Do you like the Avengers? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to play another game with the Avengers oh, in it? Oh, yeah. I bet you do. That's great. Hey, uh, but um, do, you, do you have any money? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah, yeah, this is the Avengers. Well, kind of, sort of like the Avengers. We couldn't get the likeness yeah. of them. But it's okay. These are new characters, and we're going to explain them to you. Here he is. First up, weighing at 211 pounds. He is the master of disaster, even with a weak bladder. He is the one and the only, the unknown alcoholic. His uncanny ability to consume massive quantities of alcohol and still be left standing to crack you in a noggin with his empty beer can is astounding. That is the ultimate superpower nowadays. That's right, he is the unknown alcoholic. The next person that's the new member of the group is the one and the only Major Depression. That's right. In between his times of constantly crying like a little bitch, all he knows how to do is hold onto a stick and yell orders at people. Major Depression has not done anything worth a damn in his entire lifetime, and his parents think he's a total disgrace, but he's great at yelling and he's great at crying. He is the one and the only Major Depression. And filling out the roster of the new heroes is the one and only the uh, cousin of Apollo Creed. He is the Afri African American Electrical Storm, aka the Black Lightning. He is the one and only the ultimate champion, Gemini! Oh! And these are the new characters of Barvel's. Revengers! They're not quite like the Avengers because uh, we couldn't get them right, but it's okay because in the end, uh, you still gotta give us your money, right? Yeah, what? No, I, no, 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 no crap. No. Well, we lost a whale. Oh well. Hello everybody, it's me, Nate, a.k.a. Devil Dog. And before I get started, I want to first of all let you all know, make sure to stay tuned to my channel on October 13th of 2020 for the official release of my movie I made, The Wellborn. It's a psychological thriller, and I really can't wait for this to actually go live so you all can see it. It is currently set as a premiere, so make sure to go to The Wellborn and uh, click on it so you can be ready to go when the premiere launches. Now, this is my review for the Avengers. It was developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Square Enix and was released on September 4th of 2020 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Stadia with an upcoming PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X release. It is a third-person action-adventure game with a very highly original single-player cinematic story and co-op gameplay. Now, what else to say about this game other than the fact that I played the beta heavily and this is not much different from the beta. So if you were one of the people that played the beta, you basically know what you're getting into. This is a basically a service game, as I call it, where you pay full price for a game, but you have to wait over time for you to receive new content for this title. Now, the gameplay itself, you know, I, I don't want to be mean with this. I'm going to save it for my rant. But this just comes off as a generic style game, almost like an Odd Lots version of the Avengers. They, they, they pretty much are the characters, but they don't have the likenesses or the voices of the characters. It's almost like you're playing with their stunt doubles. I, I mean, seriously, it's almost like you're playing with their stunt doubles. And it just comes off as something that you would see in a bargain basement bin at your local Walmart. Now, the gameplay itself structurally is sound, but is very boring and mundane. It consists of you as playing as several different characters as you pick them, as you go through these levels that are all pretty much virtually the same, fighting these mundane, stupid, copy-and-paste robot soldiers 
as you go through the story. Now, the single player story is original and it is unique, involving the fact that you play as um, what, what, what's her face? I'm going to call her Stretchy Arms. I'm, I'm calling her Stretchy Arms because that's the only thing that I can actually say about her that I gave a dang about was the fact that she's got stretchy arms. Now, don't get me uh, even going about the clothes stretching. I, I'm, I'm going to get into that on my rant. But you, you play as stretchy arms as she becomes as one of the member of the Avengers and you fight these bad guys. And, and that's really the synopsis of what this game is. Really, at least with the single player mode. Now, when you play an online mode, this is basically your corporate conglomerate you know, mega game here, okay? The best way to describe this is almost like Anthem, but with generic version characters of the Avengers. While they look like they're the characters of the Avengers, they don't quite, you know, have the facial structure or the, the voices of the Avengers. And you go through these generic, boring levels, just fighting the most repeated, generic-looking characters in mundane attempts just to collect loot drops, loot boxes for different gear, and upgrades. But don't you worry, since this is a online game service, you will have multiple chances to pay real money for loot boxes for different gear for your characters. That's right. That's one of these games. That's right. You play through these levels as one of your generic versions of the Avengers that don't look and sound right as you go around smashing and bashing where every character has your main attack, you have a charged attack, you have a ranged attack, and you have a super attack once you get your meter filled up far enough. And that's basically about it. You just go through these levels, smashing and bashing, getting your level up so you can do your super move in order to collect loot drops and gear to change the appearance of your character. Or you can go in if you're a whale and pay real money out of your own pocket to buy nice new cool little outfits for your characters in this game and that's basically all it has to it it has a single single player story mode where you play as um what what whatever her name is yeah, I'm go like I said, stretchy arms. You play a stretchy arms through her little story where she joins the Avengers, and it's so nice. It's so cute. But all it is is just an excuse to make a game as a service. That's right. This is like a hybrid of Destiny and Anthem. Really, in fact, I had nightmares playing this over the fact that um, when you play as certain characters like their version of Thor and, and um, you know, Mr. Redman, Mr. You know, Richie Rich that could afford to buy his own iPhone case that he wears, um, basically you can fly as them and it plays out just like a version of Anthem. Really, you just go around in these mundane levels, smashing enemies so you can get loot boxes to get different gear for your characters. And that's all this game has to offer. I mean, really, it does. Do you know how many different levels I played through on this game where it was the same generic-ass laboratory that you're going through? Most of them are. I picked some footage that's different than the laboratory levels just so you can get a little bit of variety in this game because you sure as hell ain't going to get it in playing, in playing this game. This game is awful. I had to drink about a case and a half of beer before I could even do my review of this game to try to try just to try to have a smidgen of professionalism not to be biased with this title. Hands down, this is one of the worst games that Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics has ever released. It is the most manufactured business ready profit margin title games I've seen. Now what I mean by that is the levels are mundane, they're very very corridor based with some levels that are open up that you can explore around where you can get to do different missions but they all lead you down the same pathway where it's basically kill these people, smash these people, get the loot, repeat, repeat, repeat. Hands down, after five minutes of playing this game even though the levels might change and maybe you might get a different boss, you're playing the same game. And the bosses are just bullet sponges. They're no different than the normal enemies that you fight, just with more massive health bars. And that's all this game is. 
hands down, this is one of the worst games I've played in a long time. Graphically, the game engine, it's very impressive in terms of its graphics, and it does play well. I didn't have too many times where the game crashed, but the game itself is so mundane and so repetitive and boring, and added on the top with the fact that it's got all these loot crates and everything, it's almost like they want you to have some sort of pride and accomplishment when you're playing this game, and I can't recommend it to anybody. In the end, I would have to say The Avengers on PlayStation 4 is a steaming pile of horse nuggets. It is one of the worst games I've played, mainly because of the fact that structurally sound-wise and graphic-wise and playability, it is a good game. It is a sound game. But after five minutes of playing this, you've got pretty much everything in this game that this game has to offer. And until they offer some in-game content similar to what Anthem's doing... This game as a live service is an absolute jerk. Uh, uh, no, I got it right. It's a jerk. But it's a joke. It's nothing but a money-grabbing, cash-grabbing joke of a game. Really, in order for you to pay full price for this title and to have really no end-game content other than a couple missions to run, this hands down is garbage. Now, if they just focused on a single player narrative where you play as Captain Marvel or whatever her name is, as she goes through her mundane, boring ass levels where it plays off like a generic version of Uncharted, I wouldn't have a problem with it that much. Because then I could still say it's mundane and boring, but it's still something worthy of actually renting and playing through the single player mode. But since you can tell that this game is solely based upon the microtransactions they have for the gear and loot drops, and in fact with future content, I would have to say that this hands down plays like an EA game and is total freaking garbage. Stay away from this game on any chance you have. Do not buy it. Do not even rent this. This is the worst kind of game out there. This is nothing but a predatory piece of crap game and I can say from the bottom of my heart avoid this game at all costs. This was Nate aka Devil Dog. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Please leave them comments if you want to play this game, if you purchase this game and what you think about it or any sort of questions you want to ask about this title. Make sure to hit the bell icon to stay updated whenever I release any new videos on my channel. Hit the subscribe button. It always helps my channel. And remember people, the devil is always in the details. Peace out until next time.